What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy John 25, and tonight I'm going to be giving, doing my AEW Dynamite review on highlights. You guys new, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and let's get started. AEW was a good show. I enjoyed it for what it was, so that's all I got to say. AEW was a good show. Tag Team Appreciation Night opens with some tag team action as the Young Bucks mix their interests interest members of entrance their yeah makes their interest members of the dark order attacks them so the young bucks versus dark order pretty good tag team match i must say this was a pretty good tag team match it says um the dark order immediately isolates nick jackson in the ring and then they toss him to the floor where the other members of the dark order sworn nick uno was distract distracting the ref the referee Matt dives off the stage onto the Dark Order B side, but Grayson takes him out with the Tobe suicide. Back in the ring, Uno and Grayson double team Nick for several more minutes. Uno rips Grayson into, into Nick, but he gets his boot up, then flips out a suplex attempt and tag Matt. Matt hits a flying crossbody off the top onto them, followed by a flying double clothesline. The Young Bucks shows off their double team spots and his nice roll up neck breaker slash backbreaker combo on Uno. Nick hits a beautiful flying lucha arm drag. Matt counters a, counters a Grayson Uranus into a arm drag of his own, but then eats a suplex from Uno after the after he blind tags Grayson. Uno hits a leg drop for a near fall. Uno hits a netbreaker and tags his partner back into the match. Gracie hits a slingshot summer saw sent out onto Matt on the apron before choking him in the ropes. Gracie throws Matt into Uno's boot. Gracie taunts Matt before drop kicking him to the floor. On the outside, Uno slams Matt Jackson into the ring apron and then tosses him back to Grayson's for a near fall. Uno tags Grayson. Then, then breaks Matt's eye as he tries to fight back. Matt fights his way out of the hill corner, but Grayson managed to trip him and drag him to the outside. Matt, Matt Jackson tosses Grayson into the ring post, but is then surrounded by the other Dark Order guys. Matt, Matt Jackson climbs under the ring and then pops out on the other side. He tried to tag Nick Jackson, but he's a neckbreaker from Uno. Uno rips Matt, Matt Jackson into the hill corner, but Matt Jackson explodes out of out of it with a spear. Matt, I mean Grayson tags in and shows Matt, Jack, Matt Jackson to a big boot from Uno. They go they go for a double team move, but Matt Jackson counters with a reversal run up before attacking Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson hits a flying knee on Uno and then a Larry slash Bulldog combo on both of them. Nick Jackson hits a sling. Slingshot X Factor on Uno and then rolls back into a moonsault on the outside on Grayson. Grayson catches Nick Jackson and tries to throw him into the crowd, but Nick Jackson over the guardrail. Grayson dives over the barricade right into a super kick. The Young Bucks double team Uno in, in the ring and hits a risky business for a near fall. Nick Jackson hangs, hangs Uno up. Up in the ropes and hits a springboard glutine team swan time for a near fall. Matt Jackson tags in and they and the and the young bucks go for a super kick party, but Grayson pulls Uno to safety and then sp then springs off Uno's shoulder onto a runner on Matt Jackson. Grayson hits a knee strike and then suplex Nick Jackson onto Matt Jackson in the corner. Grayson hits a 450 splash on Nick Jackson and Uno hits a cannonball on Matt Jackson in the corner for a near fall. Uno, ta Uno tags in and tags in and the Dark Order hit the Brain Buster slash Integrity for a near fall, but Matt Jackson breaks it up. Grayson drags Matt Jackson onto the stage and throws him down the tunnel and tells the Dark tells the other Dark Order guys to block the tunnel. Uno lifts up for the fatality, f fatality but Nick Jackson counters onto the roller pin roll up for the pin. The winner the winner of the match, the Young Bucks, this was a this was a pretty good tag team match to kick off AEW. The winner of the match, Young Bucks. 
um, backstage, MJF is showing mistreating his campaign workers. Adam Page and Kenny Omega are asked who's the best team in AEW is other than them. Omega quickly answers the Young Bucks, but Page looks annoying. MJF comes out for his address. Okay, he did his campaign. This is the reason why that MJF is the best team in AEW, so I really enjoyed the uh, MJF campaign. That's all I got to say. TNT, TNT Championship, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes versus versus Scorpio Sky. This was, this was a decent match. Pretty, a decent match. It was decent for what it was. It says, um, the winner of the match is still your TNT champion, Cody. Alright, Brody Lee appears on the screen holding a version of the TNT title. And, and he says, the next Saturday, next Saturday, Cody will put some respect on his name and he will take his title. He's holding the old title and says that he will be so kind as to give him back the old title. Private Party says their favorite tag team was the Hardy Boys. Alright, AEW Tag Team Championship. Adam Page and, and Kenny Omega versus Jurassic Express. This was a fit. This match was fantastic. I love this tag team match. This, this tag team match was fantastic. Alright, it says um, the winner... The winner and still your AEW World Tag Team Champions, Kenny Omega and, and Hangman Adam Page. All right, we see um, um, Pound and Powerful is showing is showing throwing best friends bags into the shower and pouring bleach all over the all over the clothes. Back to commercial break. Butcher and the Blade pick the Road Warriors as their favorite tag team ever. All right, FTR. And the young bucks are in the ring with Rock and Roll Express and R. Anderson and told and told Blanchard. Matt Jackson puts over the R R and R Express and says they are the original the original the young bucks and says that they inspired the a generation of tag teams. Um I love this. Um Dak says that they are huge marks for R Anderson and told and he says because of them and R and R, they rock and roll. They are the bugs get to make their living as the tag team. Ricky Morton says that he hasn't seen anyone seen anyone have a match chemistry as FTR have since R Anderson and told. He says that the young bugs brought tag team wrestling back to the for forefront like he like. Like he and Robert did before, he says the Young Bucks are the top tag team in the world. R R says he doesn't blow smoke because because it leaves a bad taste in his mouth. But what he does is tells the truth. He says that the Bucks have taken the tag team wrestling into a new uh, stratosphere and R puts over the facts that R and R are still working to this day. He turns the he turns to F T R and says that that in his mind they are the best team in the world. Um Ricky Morton starts to talk again but told snatch but to, but totally um Blanchard snatches it away from from him and tells him tells him not to start something that he can't finish. Toll says that in his mind, what makes you the best is having the goal and and all as all of tonight. Neither near neither FTR, the Young Bucks are the champ are, are the are the champions. Toll says they can they can all pat themselves on the back and tell everyone how great they are, but it doesn't mean anything. Toll gets in all gets in arms face and says that. Says that he he and R have ha, have had something between them since he got into the his guys match back in Labor Day, and he points the to the Nightmare Family logo and says he doesn't understand that either. R says he is going he, he's a grown man grown man and doesn't need anyone permission for any for anything and walks away. Sean Spears walks walks out and Ricky slaps. The you know what I don't totally. As the FTR was putting them apart, Dex sells his injured knee from last week. FTR attacks Rock and Roll 
Express with their knee brace and hits a spike pile driver on Ricky Morton. Page and Omega run out and FTR retreats. Um, Ricky Morton sells that the um, pile driver. He sells that. I like that. That's all I gotta say. Ricky Morton sold that pile driver. That spike pile driver. I love it. But anyway, we backstage Chris Jericho and Mike Kyoto to do the ring thing in his match tonight and reminds them that he wants to save his job. Back to com commercial break. Hick Haku. Hakaru Shida versus Heather Moreau. DC match. DC match what it was. It says the winner of the match by submission. Um, Hakaru, Hakaru Shida. Alright. Tony Shavon interviews Shida and says she is still waiting for a challenger. Jake Roberts is with Lance Archer backstage where Archer beats up random guys. Archer rips off Roberts. Robert's shirt revealing everybody dies written on his back. That was bizarre. Main event time. Chris, I mean, yeah, yeah, main event, main event time. Orange Cassidy versus the champion Chris Jericho. Fantastic main event. I love this match. It says the winner of the match, Orange Cassidy, gets gets his gets the win. And that's and AEW goes up there. Yeah, AEW goes up there. Anyway, AEW was a good show. And um, that's all I gotta say. I loved it. I, I just love this. Um, the Young Bucks versus the Dark Order. Good match. I'm just recapping, guys. The winner of the match, the Young Bucks. Then we move on to the TNT Championship. Cody Rhodes versus Scorpio Sky. Decent match. Decent match. And then, and then the winner of the match is still TNT Champion Cody. Then we move on to AEW World Tag Team Champions. Adam Page and Kenny Omega versus Jurassic Express. This was a fantastic tag team match. And then the winner, and then the winners, and still your AEW World Tag Team Champions, um, Adam Page and Kenny Omega. All right, let me move on. Hik Hikaru Shida versus Heather M Monroe. Decent match. Decent. The winner of the match, Hik Hikaru Hikaru Shida. Then the main event, Orange Cassidy versus Lee Champion. Chris Jericho. This match was fantastic. I enjoyed it for what it was. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my AEW Dynamite review and highlights, please drop a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. My Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok will be down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow on my NXT review and highlights. Talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here. Peace out, guys.